The legalization of marijuana in Colorado raised a number of questions and concerns among residents, even for those who supported legalization. One of the biggest concerns was whether the availability and normalization of marijuana would increase use among Colorado's youth. The Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment set out to address these concerns by developing two distinct yet complementary campaigns. The first was for youth, inspiring them to focus on their goals instead of using marijuana. The second was for parents, teachers, coaches, counselors, and other adults that youth trust, empowering them to have informed and effective conversations with the young people in their lives to help keep them from using marijuana. Our research with Colorado youth showed they were skeptical of health statements about the consequences of marijuana use. Youth rejected preachy tones and scare tactics and were quick to judge content that felt like it came from a biased point of view. We also found that youth believed using retail marijuana underage could get in the way of accomplishing their goals. So, with that in mind, we created Protect What's Next, a campaign that helps youth prioritize and achieve their goals and keep marijuana from getting in their way. Using online ads, we drove our audience to protectwhatsnext.com, where they could use a digital, interactive tool that helps youth discover and achieve personal goals, while educating them on how the health effects and legal consequences of using marijuana underage can get in the way of those goals. More than 3,000 youth have started discovering what's next for them by using this tool. We also developed the Protect What's Next Challenge, a statewide student-led competition that introduced youth to the challenges and triumphs of setting and achieving their goals. Working in partnership with 63 Colorado middle schools, we generated more than 15,000 student submissions in just four weeks. And we partnered with TEDx Mile High to create Protect What's Next Adventures, a series of 11 once-in-a-lifetime experiences with entrepreneurs and craftsmen from across Colorado. But Protect What's Next wasn't the only voice speaking to Colorado's youth. Our research showed that youth were seeking out conversations about marijuana with adults they trust. So we connected with parents, teachers, coaches, and counselors through our Good to Know Trusted Adults campaign. This campaign delivered encouraging and empowering messages to adults via TV, radio, and online ads, as well as through local community outreach efforts and an original TV town hall in partnership with Denver's CBS4. We even partnered with well-respected bloggers and influencers, producing 28 blog posts to reach our audience with trusted local experts. The campaign drove our audience to goodtoknowcolorado.com slash talk, where they could find tools and tips designed to help adults talk effectively with youth about marijuana, and also combat misperceptions of teen marijuana use. Data showed nearly 25% of parents were under the impression that most youth use marijuana regularly, when in fact, four out of five high schoolers do not use marijuana. And three years after legalization, current marijuana use among Colorado youth remains unchanged from pre-legalization data. 84% of Colorado parents with teens have talked with their kids about the risks of using marijuana. And we continue to monitor and adapt our message to both parents and youth ensuring we remain relevant and prevent youth marijuana use moving forward.